Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Brad Tavares versus Young Young Park. Brad Tavares, 20 wins, 9 losses. He's 2-3 and three in his last 5 fights. Plus 145 underdog for Brad Tavares. 36 years old, 6'1 with a 74-inch reach. Fighting Jung Young Park, who's 17-6. and six. He's 4-1 and one in his last 5 fights. The one loss is against Andre Muniz. Split decision somehow. I did not think that fight was a split decision at all. Minus 170 favorite, 33 years old, 5'10 with a 73-inch reach. 2-inch, uh, oh no, 3-inch height advantage for Tavares with a 1-inch reach advantage also for Tavares. I, I, I got a hard time with this fight because... Even though uh, Brad Tavares, you know, definitely at the down end of his career for sure. Seven finishes, he's been finished, KO'd five times. You know, three times in the first round, one in the second, one in the third. He's 15-9 and nine in the UFC. He's lost five times in the UFC by KO or TKO. He only has two finishes by TKO or KO, and one of them was the the bad person, Phil Baroni. So, you know, Gregory Rodriguez... Finished him in the third round. He, he got a win over Chris Weidman, which, whatever, got destroyed by Bruno Silva. Slightly bit of an early stoppage for sure, but still had crazy success against Dreyses Duplessis, which was wild. But, again, the issue I have with this fight for Jung Young Park, you're fighting a guy that has the one thing that he has is very, very good takedown defense. He's very hard to get taken down. He is very historically hard to take down or even hold hold down again historically just crazy hard to take down let's actually look real quick right here again here's where it's interesting let's look at this okay Make sure it's there. Move this over. All right. Okay. So strikes landed per minute, three point three eight uh, to four point five three. Accuracy is forty three to fifty. Absorb is three point one five to three point one three. Defense is fifty five to fifty three. Here we go. Takedown average for a fifteen minute fight is 0 0.78 to one point eight three. Accuracy is twenty six to fifty. Takedown defense is fifty eighty one. Jesus, eighty one to fifty seven. Submissions is about one point one for. Jung Young Park, that's his go-to thing, so that would make sense. Again, you you, you have a guy in Jung Young Park who has 17 wins. He's only been TKO'd or KO'd one time, submitted twice, but he has 11 finishes. Six of them by submission. Four submissions in the first, second, two of them in the second round. Five TKO wins, but I don't think he has any in the, in the UFC. Nope, he has zero in the UFC. Three submissions in the UFC. Seven and three overall, and da, 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 Anthony Hernandez finished him back in 2019. Big feather in the cap for Anthony Hernandez for sure. Again, I want Jung Young Park to win this. I just don't know how he how he does this. His striking isn't great. His striking is not great. I mean, I mean, I mean, I I. I I don't know how Jung Young Park gets this fight down to the ground unless he's just able to overwhelm Brad Tavares and just kind of uh, have, you know, again, it's such a hard one because I don't think Brad Tavares wins this. I think Jung Young Park does. I just don't know how he wins. I'm picking Jung Young Park to win. I don't know how he, he finishes them like he typically would with six submission wins, three of them in the UFC. It's it's gonna be tough because Brett Devar is the one good area he still has is his good old takedown defense. I'm picking Jung Young Park, but it's it's gonna be a rough one. It's gonna be a tough, tough fight. As always, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you're picking. Peace.